What's up guys, it's Layla and Leo and we are on our way to San Francisco to start filming, well actually the second um, portion of filming for the Four Mom documentary. We're so excited about it, we just will be preparing for it, um, Brayden is prepared for it, we're going to knock this, we're going to have it all parts. And we're going to try and take you guys along for the entire journey so you can see what it's like to build a documentary from the ground up. Stay tuned. Bye. 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 What's up guys? We are about to land in San Francisco. Leo has already gotten us in We originally got our fire to skate They asked if we imported if it was shoes and I stayed it off the floor just thinking of shoes. We said it was shoes and then we sat down. We were minding your business working a little bit and they approached us again. I pretended I didn't hear that, but then Leo <laughs> They literally asked can the pilot try this? And will he find that it's true if he does? And I said, yes. And then after we realized, she said, that's not coronavirus friendly. So no, you are not allowed to share my drink. So he was like, okay, so if he's holding it, but like, so if I get this to the pilot and he tries it and it's not the truth, so we can't take him off. But you can get off the plane and drink it. I mean, obviously, it's not worth getting off the plane for it, but. So then we took it. And Right there, there's a strong block. He was telling us that we can step off the plane. We did lose 50%, though. So, um, so there's a lot. That's how we're getting this trip started. So, just think ahead of, use us as, as an example, and think ahead of it. Um, what you're going to say, hey, you're not six feet from me. No, um, but number two is solve yourself all the problems and pour it into this giant ass yeah. water. <laughs> I did have this. Alright, where are we? We are in San Francisco. We just landed. We had a very interesting flight. Which we kind of told you about, but yeah. long story short, our wine got confiscated. We're kind of sad. Yes. Trying to have a little fun in, so in these times. Our hotel is connected to the um, airport. We're staying at Hyatt. And uh, we're and you can kind of see how busy the airport is right now. AKA, it's not. We'll get on a tram and get to our hotel and see. What Uber Eats will bring us. Yes. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see you later. So we just got here. Turns out it's freezing. We've got to take this tram to get to our hotel. Is it cold or is it cold? It's cold. <laughs> Compared to Phoenix. And I'm wearing shorts. Super fail. But anyways, we made it and we are on to the Welcome, next. welcome. We are checking into our hotel in Una Momento. Fortunately, it's connected to the airport. However, it doesn't look like anyone's home. We're on our way to the Bank of which where I went to high school. And we're going to interview a couple of my and one of them just have that structure. You know, I, that right there and the time in my life, especially with your mom always being there for us was, was something that was a dynamic that I needed, especially as a growing teenager. This is Mario. He is our creative director here at 4Mom and we are on the set um, for today, which is St. Francis High School. How are you feeling about how it's going? I'm feeling very good. Seems to be in a good mood in regards to how open they are to having a camera in front of them. Um, everybody's comfortable speaking about uh, what they've gone through, um, so it's making it easy for me for sure. And just being able to be here and capturing these moments. End of my sophomore year, going into my junior year, because I remember um, I want to say Bray had just met Bray, I think, going into my junior season. Um, and I had like a passing tournament at Sarah, and that's the last thing she went to where I think she could like see what I was doing. Because then come football time, I think that's when she was diagnosed, and my parents were sat me down for time, I think. Yeah. And that's crazy, I didn't know that. Yeah. And we were ready to uh, freshman orientation banquet night for football. Uh, and I was right here. Yeah. And 
that's crazy because we all, you know, as freshmen, you all start on the same level and then, you know, people kind of separate. Was there like a certain time that, you know, because you're one of the few people that have been around through, you know, her being healthy and then her getting diagnosed and then obviously the decline. Is there like a certain time or something that you can remember that triggered your mind of like, oh wow, something's different here? I mean, obviously we talked a lot, so you kind of knew what was going on. Was there a time that you saw with your own eyes? Uh, the first time was when we went up to Seattle to watch you play um, in 2014. And uh, I just remember she was a little bit more forgetful, not as on the ball as... All right, Bree, where are we headed? We are headed to the Bishop's old house in Palo Alto. What did we just get done doing? We just got some really great interviews um, of some. You just finished up at your first house. Yes. You don't remember it though. I don't remember much of it. Yeah, you were five when you left, right? Five. How do you feel, Randy? Uh, yeah, I, you know, uh, I think it's just flat grass uh, until they made it basically the soccer stadium. Uh, we used to ride our bikes off through here. And, Sue's take them a lot through here, play with them, kick the ball, just, you know, do mom stuff. What are you doing right now, Brayden? Uh, we're currently at Stanford. We grew up here. Uh, we're sucking dime in the baseball stadium and then the football stadium. Okay, how do you feel about your first minor league season being canceled? Well, it's not canceled yet, so hopefully it's not, but it's given me a chance to find some new passion, so, you know, it's on hold right now, so hopefully we get started soon, you know, I'd like to play baseball, but it is what it is, you know? Yep. You know, she was so excited when she heard about the bat, but didn't know where the field was, and she was literally standing right in front of me. Um, it's kind of crazy, like... This series, when I was really struggling in baseball, and it was like, I think that was a turning point in my baseball career. It was like, she literally had no idea whether I was doing good or bad. Like, she just cared whether or not I had at that time. She was able to know like, how important it was to her that I was just playing. And that's when I knew, you know, the results got to be thrown up because there's so much more to life than just playing baseball. Um, and I thought that, like, really, that always sticks out to me. It was in that Pac 12 thing when they talked to uh, Tracy. Why is this so hard? I like, grew up here with my mom. It's just like me and her. I like, was at college. My dad was at work. Um, so How many years ago has it been since you were here? Um, since my senior year of college. Or senior, yeah. Junior. Junior, no, senior year of high school. Here in high school. It's been a while then. Since I lived here, yeah, it's been a long time. And then, oh, because it's only Yeah, because yeah. the dog. Because the dog would run out her people and the family. She pretty off the one. A lot of action on the street. Yeah. I know, generally there's not that much. Okay, so we've just 
just wrapped up filming, I think, for the weekend. It's been intense. So intense and emotional. And when you're telling someone's story, it's like, I don't know. It's like, it's like I've never cried more. Like, yeah, ever. You have no idea that, like, it just brings everything out of you. Yeah, because it's not our story, but hearing all these people tell these different parts of it. We had about 12 people um, over the course of two days, and today was, you know, major day. Um, and then you throw the family in um, as well, and it's just like, oh, it's so crazy. It's emotional overdose. Totally emotional. So I hope that with everything that we are doing, there's just more awareness out there. You know what was so surprising? Everybody that we interviewed that was under the age of um, when they first, you know, heard Alzheimer's, they had no idea what it was, what it was, what it meant. Um, one of the guys said, you know, Sue's was so healthy and athletic, and you know, all of this. And he was like, when I found out, I was like, if anybody's gonna need it, it's not her, and it's not even gonna be her, so yeah, you know. Yeah, exactly. It's like not it's right now. Not one of those things where you have a survivor at the end. It takes everyone. There's no prisoners. No. We are exhausted. We're excited to get back to Phoenix, back to back to Monday, where we can just focus on something completely unemotional. To be honest, yeah, it's it's raining. So back to normal, but next what is week normal? Is not normal. I don't know what that is. Yeah. People say the new norm, and I'm like, what is that? Yeah. But it's been good. We're honestly, we're blessed. We're happy. We're so excited to be a part of this project. We're just mentally drained, and that's real talk for you. So, check in with you guys a little bit later.